Hey guys, I'm Leaflet, and we're going to be taking a look at the new patch that just dropped for Hell Divers. A little bit of background on me. Um, I was I was a game balance designer actually. I worked on League of Legends, and uh, I was in charge of game balance for like the early seasons. So we'll take a look at this. All right. Um, this is a balance patch, and actually, I kind of skimmed over it like during the break, and a lot of the stuff on it, I I kind of like it a lot. So I'm gonna talk about it a bit. So here we go. We've got. Let's see, this, this, this update includes balance changes to missions, stratagems, weapons, enemies, hell divers, general fixes, and stability improvements. Okay, so we've got planetary hazard additions, blizzards, and sandstorms. I mean, these are always kind of cool. I like I like those. Um, missions retrieve essential personnel. So this is the one that's like a defense mission, and you have to like um, move, move groups of uh, civilians uh, over, and it's a small area. Uh, move the enemy spawn points to be further away from the objective. Yeah, this is a really... Uh, oh, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, uh, Distraction. Thank you. Um, this this is a really good change because the enemy spawns were, like, right next to where it was. So it was really difficult to deal with, especially if you were going to use um, some defensive call-downs. It would, it, you would just kill people with it. So this is actually a really good change. Also, like, just in general, when you're doing a defense mission it's better if they you have time to react to it rather than it dropping like right on top of you so this is an excellent change there are fewer civilians required to complete the mission on higher difficulties it was 50 it was kind of a lot i don't really care that much about that about that one but it's good destroy command bunkers now has more objective locations uh mission was too easy before compared to other missions yeah it was, it was a little it was a little too easy can now appear in Operations Difficulty 5. Have the negative effect of Operation Modifiers that increase stratagem cooldowns. Or... Wait, half the negative effect... Wait, is this global? Half the negative of Operation Modifiers that increase stratagem cooldowns or call-in times. Is this only for... Destroy Command Bunkers? Or is this always? Uh, increase stratagem cooldowns or call-in times. So like I actually do I actually really hate this uh, not not this change but I hate the increased stratagem cooldown operation modifier so like I really love this change because this is gonna make it you know it's gonna make it not fifty percent which is it's awful because it, it feels really bad because you you don't get to it, it strips away action from you a uh, really really cool thing about this game is actually using the things that you have built into so having this is is really gonna help that out. All right, let's look at these uh these these weapons. Yeah, I, I complained about this is one of my biggest gripes of the game is this increased stratagem cooldown and the AA defenses that makes it so you can take one less cool one less stratagem. Those two, I actually really do not like them at all. Call in time is okay. It it this one's kind of interesting. At least kind of changes like how you have to play. There's a little bit of interaction between you and the game. Because you're like, okay, now I have to like plan ahead. I have to like drop my my things in a certain spot. Whereas the cooldown thing, it's just like have less fun, fifty percent less, less of uh, using your skills or minus one to your build option, which is I don't like that. All right, so arc throwers fix it charging inconsistencies will not always take one second to charge a shot. I actually haven't used the arc thrower that much myself. Um. But is this why it was OP? Reduce the distance from... Yeah, this, these are just huge nerfs to the arc, arc Thor, which is good because the Arc Thor kind of can do everything well. And this was like the, the big issue with, with Arc Thor is you could use it as a primary and it was it, it handled every situation. So one thing that's really interesting about Helldivers 2 is that all of the guns, they fulfill a certain a certain role on your kit or on your and on your team. So kind of building towards like, what do you want to fight? What do you want to be good at fighting? Can your teammates handle other things that you can't? Uh, maybe you want to like be all, all, all around her where you're like kind of good at fighting everything. The arc throw kind of ruins a lot of that because it's just good. It's just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't use a backpack. It doesn't use a backpack. So which is, it's already good because of that. You just, you save a slot. And then on top of that, it kills everything. So this is, Kills everything, no ammo. It's it's kind of ridiculous. 
Uh, Gardag now restores full ammo from supply boxes. I'm I'm assuming this is the 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 machine gun one. I honestly have never seen anyone use this. Uh, the laser one, I I don't think it uses ammo, so this would be for that one. And actually, I have I've never used the machine gun one, so I actually don't know if that has any any difference or anything. Anti-material rifle damage increased by thirty percent. Pretty good. I mean, the, the I didn't think the anti-material rifle was bad. My big gripe with it is that the actual sight is really difficult to hit. It doesn't seem to shoot where you're aiming. And I don't know if that has to do with some kind of zeroing mechanic that they, they wanted it to be zeroed for a certain range. But I feel like those ranges, it, the ranges that you actually end up fighting with the anti-material rifle, and I use this gun a lot, by the way, um, it doesn't feel like it's synced at all to the crosshair. So you just end up, when you ADS, every eight, a lot of, this is actually not just the anti-material rifle, a lot of guns, they ADS in a weird way that it actually doesn't feel accurate. Like, you can actually pause and aim and take your time with the shot and you'll still miss. You have to shoot, like, sometimes low, sometimes high, I've noticed with, with the guns, and I don't know quite what that is, but there is a disconnect with how the the um weapon optics work so um that's actually my main gripe with this gun as well as the heavy machine gun and i don't know if they can fix that in a patch soon or i don't know what's going on with that honestly and i'm, I'm honestly confused that the heavy machine gun release in that state where you can't really aim it because it doesn't even have a hip fire a uh, fire damage per tick increased by 50 percent. actually i really like this because to me, fire didn't feel that useful. Like I use it a lot. I I love the incendiaries and the breaker breaker incendiary, and it just doesn't really feel that impactful to actually light stuff on fire. The fire goes away really fast. You light a bug on fire, it's it stays on fire for a little bit of time, but it doesn't seem to really do anything. It doesn't seem to do more damage over even over a long period of time um, than just shooting the bugs. Um, Liberator Penetrator Trader now has a full auto mode. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, this one is crazy. This is super crazy because actually the Jar Dominator, I thought was already really good. So increased damage from 200 to 300. This is the gun to look out for in this patch. Like this is going to be insane. Like 200 to 300 plus increased stagger. The weakness of the of the dominator is that it's a pro, it, the weapon projectile is slower than other projectiles. It's a bolter essentially, and um, I'm thinking of the right gun, right, chat. This is this is the the jar dominator, and this is insane. Like this is an insane buff to it. You're gonna be able to like one shot headshot a lot of stuff with this now. So this one definitely be the one to try. Diligence Counter Sniper also got increased from light to medium. So now it does have a role. Previously, the Diligence Counter Sniper had no role, um, basically, compared to the regular Diligence Sniper, uh, Diligence, like, D um, a DMR rifle. Now, now that it has medium, it actually, that's a lot better. But you, the, the sad thing about this is now this kind of, kind of hits this anti-material rifle in a way, but you might be able to take both. So I don't think, I don't know if it's, if it's really that bad. Um, again, the, the one thing with the diligence counter sniper is it's actually incredibly hard to use because it's really hard to shoot because of how slow, because in the game, you actually don't have one-to-one -one mouse speed with like your, your aimer actually, your, your aim actually drags behind where you're pointing. And uh, the diligence counter sniper actually is really, really slow. So if you have like a good team that can that you actually allows you to sit back and snipe, this could be really solid, especially against bots with the new medium armor. Slugger just nerfs across the board. The slugger was OP, so yeah, this this does this does make sense. Reduce stagger, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, the, the thing is, is now now it has so, sort of a little bit more personality compared to like the uh, regular breaker. If uh if the breaker did retain like its ability to stagger, and the reduced damage from two eighty to two fifty, yeah, that makes sense. It was a little strong. 
um, reduced de demolition force. This is this is like armor stripping, right? I don't know what this means. There's a lot of stats in the game that like it's just kind of hard to tell what it, what they mean by it. Uh, fixed armor penetration tag in menu. Okay. Slugger, sl slugger, liberator, concussive, senator. Okay. Fixed incorrect armor penetration tags in menu. So they were wrong. The ar the armor penetration was wrong on these. Interesting. So what was the liber liberator concussive? Was that was that medium the whole time? What does that mean? We'll have to take a look at it in game. Oh, this is this is actually really good. Recoilless rifle increase the number of rockets you restore from supply boxes from two to three, and spear from one to two. This is great because this is why the spear sucked. This is like the main reason like you, you didn't really want to use the spear because it was so ammo hungry. You only got what four rockets on it? I think one, two, three, four. I think five. And he had one in the gun and then four on your on your back. Yeah, yeah. This three in backpack. Three in backpack. So you had three in your backpack and one in the gun. It, that ammo is already incredibly low. Uh considering like the other options, like uh, you know, like eats, eats like you could just drop them like all day. Um you know, there's the quasar now that exists. Like Spear didn't really have an identity. It wasn't that good. Um I mean, it, it's it, it it is pretty good at certain things, but this ammo, the the ammo shortage on it, didn't really justify taking over the other options that are kind of similar to what it does. So this is a great change. Heavy machine gun, the highest fire. Yeah, I mean, this is this was kind of insane. Heavy machine gun, the highest fire rate reduced from one twenty to nine fifty. Um, I don't think this was the problem with the heavy machine gun. Honestly, like I think the heavy machine gun has too little ammo. And it's impossible to aim. So I think there's some lever there that needs to be fixed. Uh, I don't really think this was the fix to actually make it good. In fact, I actually think this is kind of a nerf. Ironically, this is kind of a nerf because this 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 1200 RPM mode was like the one reason to take the heavy machine gun. Because you could like walk behind a tank, put it into 120, and just destroy the tank instantly from shooting in the back. But now that you don't have this, it's kind of rough. I don't know. I, it's going to need, like, either something changed with its ammo ammo size, uh, its reload reload rate, or, or I mean, first off, fix, fix the, uh, the reticle, the, the um, optic. Fix the optic first, and then, then you can kind of look at it and see, like, how it does. Uh, Patriot Exosuit rockets will now penetrate only under... Is this what was happening? Because, like, I feel like the Patriot Exosuit was absolutely useless against bots because you get, like, touched anywhere by a rocket, you're dead. It's, like, if, if a rocket lands anywhere near you, it's over. So this is, I guess, maybe this is this is really good. Um, We'll have to see. It's kind of hard to tell from the patch notes if it's going to be good or not. Um, Balancing adjustments have been made to chargers. Normal mail attack now does less damage against Exosuits. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Because, like... There's a lot of a lot of times where you dodge the charge and you still you still get hit pretty hard by the charger. Biosphere and nurses do less damage with their puke. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see because the only reason the bile spear and the nursing spear had any threat at all was that they killed you instantly. So it's gonna really depend on like is this the change from getting like one tap when you get grazed to like actually having to get hit by multiple pieces of the spew before you die. Uh, this is going to be really difficult to gauge because um, we'll have to see in-game, basically. It's 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 really hard to tell just from the patch notes here. Uh, Baltan can no longer be stunned. Um, you could stun it before? Holy crap. Yeah, this is a good change then, if that's true. it's it's That would be really strong to just chain stun it with just stun grenades. So I think I think that's pretty good. Shriekers no longer create bug breaches. I didn't even know they could do this. Um, yeah, that would be really annoying if they could. Um, they're already pretty hard to hit for most people. So Shriekers hitting you while dead now just significantly. Uh, honestly, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it that you that you that you if they got anywhere close, they started dive bombing you, and you just like didn't kill them, or your ally didn't kill them, you would die from it. Like. 
I, I kind of thought this was funny. Uh, that they kind of just kamikaze on you. I, I don't know. I, I didn't think this was a problem, really. But, but maybe people complained a lot. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have changed it if I was them. I would have left it and laughed, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's see. Balancing adjustments have been made to heavy and ar uh, medium armor protects better now. And you take 10%. Oh, this is good. This is good. Light armor is too strong. It, it's the speed and the stamina is too good. Um, this is going to be interesting because heavy, you take 10% less damage and medium, um, 5%. So this is, this is going to be interesting. Um, it's the numbers aren't like that huge on it. So is that the different, like, it, this is all about thresholds, right? Is this 5%, 10%, like, is that going to save you from like one hit, two more hits, right? Like, like a rocket getting hit by a rocket. Um, if this takes you over that damage threshold of not dying instantly, then this could be really good. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to tell again, because, because all that matters is do you survive or not from whatever you get hit by? Because you die so fast in this game that it's not like you have like, it's not like you're playing like an RPG and there's HP and you get like kind of hit a couple times. You get hit multiple times over the course of, um, over the course of a fight in hell divers, you dying is usually like you're alive and then a bot shoots you and then you die. So it's kind of like, does this put you over the threshold of surviving again? Is what you'd have to look at. Um, these are all just like fixes here. Being able to fire, fix ex exos being able to fire their weapons while opening the mini map. Nice. Actually, I think I was, I think I was having this problem actually when I was playing. So that's cool. Enemies now properly target exosuits. Previously, many enemies effectively ignored exosuits if Helldiver on foot was available. All right, that's good. Yeah, exosuits, they should be targeting exosuits, I think. I mean, you would do it, right? Wouldn't you? Helldivers and uh, exosuits both have a bug that made them... What? Both had a bug. They fixed a bug that made them sometimes take explosion damage multiple times. Make, making things like the automaton rockets be too deadly. Wait, is this related? Is this related to the exosuit change? Is this what was going on? Is this why I kept dying? Like where like a rocket would go off like somewhere near me and I would insta die. Yeah, this explains so much actually. This explains so much if this is actually fixed. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, the rockets were one of the biggest problems in this game. Because you could get hit, and I don't mean like you get flanked and you get shot in the back, but you can get hit like through fog, through bushes, and like you can't even see the rocket person. You can't even see them, right? Because they're far off in the mist, uh, like obscured by jungle. And then a rocket would just fly out and kill you instantly. And there's like nothing you could have done about it. So that's, that's good. If this actually fixes that problem of getting sniped by a rocket from super far. Or at least makes it happen not 100%, you know? We have improved the, uh, let's see, autom automaton enemy um, constellations that preferred one uh, to spawn one or more devastator types did not work and are now functioning as they should. Okay, that's good. This means that sometimes when playing against automatons, you will face more devastators instead of other enemy types. All right, that's, that's good. So the issue where the effective area around objects was a lot larger than intended. How improve the system that prevents... Oh, okay. This is good. This is the whole issue with... You, you're you doing like a, like a sky drop and you can't actually control where you're dropping. This system is intended to prevent... So oh, this is good. They gave a little, a little info on it. They reduce the number of infos that prevent... Uh, help, help, help out steering. Yeah, this is, this is good because... Being locked out of it can be really critical in the game. And you, you could just like land from getting locked from this and you just die instantly when you get out of the pod. The system is intended to prevent soft locks when players can drop on important interaction points or drop in unintended places. Yeah. Yeah, this makes sense. This is really nice that they're explaining this though. Like I, 
I'm really all for devs kind of explaining this sort of stuff that players wouldn't really understand, you know? Fix the cases where the ground under some assets could be bombed, causing them to float. Ballistic shield changes. Collision mesh has been slightly... Oh, that's nice. So it's it's a lot... It, it, it blocks bullets over a bigger area of your body now. And changes shield poses that less of the hell divers... Expo great, great. The shield actually did need a buff. This, it was pretty terrible. Uh, I actually tried using it a bunch. Um, but maybe... Maybe some of the rocket changes might fix this as well, but if you get hit anywhere by an explosive, you drop the shield. And then on top of that, it didn't really block like that much. Like it maybe saved you a little bit a little bit of time. But it wasn't it wasn't like significant enough to just tank. Which I, I guess you shouldn't be able to do anyway, but um I feel like the time was too short that you died while you had your shield up. Alright, and they fixed a bunch of issues here. Various, oh, ooh, this is good. Cross platform friend invites not showing up. Can I unfriend players? All right, this is good. Drowning in deep water, the vitality booster. Yeah, these are just all like various fixes. Game might crash when pick. Oh, this is really important. Known issue. There are known issues where um, that have even introduced by this patch or being worked on or from a previous version. Game might crash when picking up a snowball or throwing back a grenade. So yeah, don't pick up any snowballs. Or, or, or throwing back a grenade. Wait, is this when you can kick it back at them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a pretty important mechanic. The snowball, though, was kind of whatever. Just don't throw snowballs. I know, I know you want to have fun, but just, just, don't, just don't do it for now. All right, well, that was the patch. I can't wait to get in game. Actually, my patch now, heck yeah. All right, again, uh, just a real quick, real quick uh, TLDR. Arc thrower, arc thrower nerfed, uh, slugger nerfed. Gun to look out for is the Dominator, the uh, Jar Dominator Bolter gun. Definitely check this out and check out Fire. Fire is fire got a huge buff. Huge buff this patch, and then the Dominator got a huge buff. So these are the two to check out. And maybe try checking out the spear again and the recallless rifle now that they're now that they're buffed. Um, I don't think it'll affect the recallless rifle as much as the spear. I think the spear is like a much better buff than this recallless rifle buff. So yeah, definitely check those out. I I I I think the heavy machine gun is still gonna be bad. Unless they did some secret changes that aren't in this patch. The uh heavy machine gun is still gonna be like really incredibly niche, incredi incredibly hard to use. So yeah, get out there and try out the dominator. Anyway, guys. Uh, again, I'm Leaflet. I stream on Twitch. Uh, check me out. All right. Peace, guys.